So what we're having a look at today is reinstalling your Affinity apps. Maybe you've lost them, maybe you've got a new computer, maybe you've had a major crash or a new hard drive and you're in a bit of a panic. You've got all your apps, you know you purchased them, um, but of course you haven't got them now. But what you can do, and I'm on Windows here to start with, and I'll show you on the Mac shortly. So we've got our applications down the bottom there, but you may have to download them again. If you haven't got them, then you've got to download them. So let's go to Microsoft Edge. That's as good a one as any, and I've used that heaps of times. I don't use Windows a lot. I mostly use the Mac, but you can see recent searches. There I go, Sarif Affinity Login. Now that's as easy as it gets. Open up that, and I'm right on the page, the Affinity Store. So you go to the account. Now I'm already logged into that account. You can see that because I logged in. If you're not already logged in, of course, it will come up and say, please type in your email address and your password. You do have that, don't you? Because if you were using Affinity, or any of the apps of Affinity, you had to create the account on the store to register your software to get your licenses so you could download the product, etc and get it out of trial mode. If you're still in trial mode and you haven't paid for it, same deal. You get one go at the trial and that's it. But now that you've paid for it and but you want to reinstall it on something, maybe you've got a brand new computer. So you've logged in to Serif, which is Affinity. Now V2 licenses and downloads and downloads and product keys. Now, V2 licenses and downloads, I've only got one license there. It's a universal license that covers um, all the apps on all the platforms, PC, Mac, and iPad, which is really good. It's worth every penny of it. I mean, if you've got Adobe, you're paying that price every month for pff, half a dozen things that you've got to keep paying for. No subscriptions here. That's one off very nice but maybe you don't want them all maybe you only want one but in this case if you've got more than one license they'll be listed there i've got one license but if you've got affinity photo affinity designer and affinity publisher and you've purchased them separately their licenses will be showing there because you'll have individual licenses for them rather than a universal license, which by its name covers all of them. But maybe you've got something else going here. So you want to downloads and product keys. So we'll go there and you can see all the options that are available to you as a registered user. If you've got a license for these, download them and install them. No problem. These are all the extras you remember when you've got any of the applications running there's all those extras that you download right at the start don't forget they're there they're very useful and there's quite a few of them there obviously you know how to download stuff so you just click on download and there it goes now that's a really all there is to it Downloads and product keys, there's your account, account home, order history, account details, and there's the account home again. Tells you all that stuff there. Help and learn and where the forums are if you want to go find some help. And that's all there is to it on the PC. Now that's the PC one. This is very useful because the Windows version I'm running here runs on parallels which Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe. Date to something, I have to go and physically download it through this menu. That's why it's remembering it. Because for some reason, Windows 11 in Parallels has a bit of a glitch somewhere that Affinity doesn't seem to be able to get around so I can download it. So if you come across that, just go to this, download the new app, and click on Install on your Windows thing and it will install it as normal. Okay, let's close that because what I want to show you, we'll pop that down out of the way. I've got Affinity 
Photo 2 running here on the Mac. If you're familiar with the Mac, then here it is running here. Same thing, go up the top corner to account and you can see the account there, Affinity Photo 2, blah, blah, blah. These are all your downloads, the things that normally come in. Now, I want to browse the store. Takes you back to, guess where? Now, there's some really nice stuff there. Really, really nice. Oh, add the basket. I could literally spend a fortune there. What I've got to do is win lotto. What do you reckon my chances of winning lotto are? Pretty good? Yeah, of course they are. Anybody can win lotto. Happens all the time. Except so far, it hasn't happened to me. Downloads and product keys, exactly the same thing. Just takes a little while to pop it up, and there it is. Downloads and product keys. Download all your purchased products without limits. Now, that's pretty cool. There's no one matching that, I can tell you. This is why I sing the praises of Affinity, because it's so damn good. You can download it as many times as you like to as many machines as you like. If you've paid for it, go and download it. I don't know about a classroom full of them. That's probably getting a bit cheeky. You'd have an awful lot of registered programs. <laughs> but people will probably try it. Let's see what happens if you do it. Okay, now that's all there is to it. You're doing this both on the PC and the Mac from the application menu. Let's close that. Now what happens if you don't already have an app installed? Let's quit that. Let's go to Safari, which is the one I use on the Mac. And because I've been there before, I always like to start with Serif. Not a Serif font. There we go. AffinitySerif.com is the web address, and there you go. Look at that. Now, because I've just used this and Safari's remembered it, I'm still logged in. There's my account, downloads and product keys. So this computer, you could think, has nothing on it at the moment, and I really need to put it all back. There you go. If you've got Windows, good. If you've got Mac, good. There's all the Mac ones. Just download them. Um, they're not in any particular order, it seems. You can go, let me just scroll really quickly through that so that we get down to see what, what all else is there. Heaps of stuff. All of those add-ons. Go back to the top. There's the Mac OS Designer. Beta Publishing. I've got a feeling I've purchased Designer at some time. There, there we go. There's Affinity, Affinity Publisher for the Mac OS. Yeah, they're not in any particular order, are they? Which is a bit of a pain. There we go. Mac OS, Mac OS, and Mac OS. So you can download them directly to your computer. And of course, let me go right back to the top. Whiz, whiz. There's the Windows versions. The iPad versions, of course, easy. Log into your App Store, your Apple App Store if you have an iPad, to the iPad App Store, find your Affinity Designer and click on Download. Because you've purchased it previously, if you, <laughs> for some reason, deleted it from your iPad, but you've still purchased it, your license will still be there on Apple in the App Store. Just download it and away you go. Now, if you want all those extra goodies, don't forget, log in, create your account on Serif, the store, Serif, let me see if I can highlight that, storeserif.com, create your account there. If you haven't done so already, I can't imagine you're using it if you don't have an account, because you need the account to license it. So there you go. Simple as that. Sign out? No, I couldn't be bothered signing out. I'll just close that down. Now, you've got the same, exactly the same deal with Windows. And I'm using that version of 
and what they call a silly thing Microsoft something or other okay store Sarif accounts and downloads off it goes and of course if you're not already logged in it'll just ask you to log in that makes sense doesn't it you should be familiar with that and that's all there is to it very easy so from now on instead of connecting to a forum or writing thousands of letters to the overwork staff at affinity just log into your account and download your software what could be easier downloads and product keys if you haven't registered your product or you're using a trial then to get a fully working copy just pay the 40 bucks or whatever it is it's on special from time to time 18 bucks I mean cheap as chips you couldn't drive down to the local store and back with a six pack for that price good heavens how cheap can you get okay that's all there is to it thanks for sticking by me now if you'd really like to subscribe to my channel I could certainly use you doing that go to youtube.com slash the little ampersand affinity inspiration nice See you there.